What's going on, everybody? Jay Lawson here. And today I'm going to be going through some practice ASVAB questions, um, predominantly math word problems. I want to show, well, a little bit about me. I have a, uh, I'm working towards getting my master's in math and I love, I mean, I love math. So what I want to do is give back by helping people understand where I'm coming from, like what I think about uh, when solving these problems. I've solved a lot of uh, math word problems and I kind of want to get you into my mindset. And I know that if you continue to follow with me, if you're having trouble with math and math word problems uh, together, we're going to make it where you're easily able to answer these problems. Okay. So what I want to do is go into a type of word problem. And this particular type uh, practice question is going to be a question of equivalency, right? So let's read what it says here. And then we're going to take a step back, you know, talk about it realistically and then come up with the answer, all right? Okay, so the question is asking, it says, Sergeant Lawson can do 100 more jumping jacks than Private Snuffy. And together, they can do 430 jumping jacks. How many can each person do? All right, so now you, if we take a step back, we're looking at a question of, We've got two different people that are doing jumping jacks. So I want you to guys to visualize that, right? And then one of the guys can do a hundred more than the other. And together, we know they're going to knock out 430, right? So if you picture that in, real, in reality, the approximate number, you know, should probably hover around you'd think 200-ish something. Somebody's going to be in that area, right? So what I, that's, what I, that's why I want you to look at it like realistically first. You got to take that step back so that you know about the range you're working at. For example, if we have an answer that's like 500, we come up with 500 at the end, we know that's wrong. Just like we come up with 50 for one of the people, we know that's wrong too. Because if somebody's doing 100 more, 50 and 150 is not 430. So obviously we're in the 200 range. So that's an important step. And the reason why I'm kind of telling you about that is because a lot of people miss that. They go right into the calculation, but you need to do that step back. Don't write anything, just do the step back. Now, what I want to do since we've stepped back, we want to set up our variables. And our variables are going to be Lawson and Snuffy, right? So we'll let L be Lawson. And we'll let S be snuffy. It's too easy, right? Get our variables set up. Now, the next step, what we want to do is look at what it's asking us. It's saying that Sergeant Lawson can do a hundred more than snuffy. So we'll make, a, we'll make another variable. One will say Lawson equals snuffy plus 100, right? Because if we look at that picture, we're seeing Sergeant Lawson can do 100 more than Snuffy. So L equals S plus 100. Now, right below that, and I'm going to tell you why that's important, but right below that, you want to go and say the next part. Together, they can do 430, right? So together, meaning S plus L, because like when we had that visual, remember they were standing next to each other? Together, so it'd be Sergeant Lawson plus Snuffy. Together, they can do 430. So S plus L equals 430. So now that we have these two equations, we can start breaking them down. Now, what we, what we want to do is we want to get the variables together and get the numbers together, if that makes sense. So if we have the numbers on one side and the variables on the other side, then we'll be able to add those equations together and come up with a combined equation. Okay. So let's do that. 
Let's look at the second part, s plus l equals 430. That one's already set up the way we want it, right? Because s plus l is 430. Now, in that first equation, see that s? It's kind of attached to that plus 100, but we need it to be attached to the l, right? So what we're going to do is subtract l, I'm sorry, subtract s on both sides. Because if we subtract it looking at the right side, the s plus 100 part, it's just going to say s plus 100 minus s. So it gets rid of itself because anything minus itself is zero, right? So that side would be 100. And then on the left side, we got L minus S. So L minus S equals 100. And we really have to make sure when we're moving, we're moving variables that we actually do the same thing on both sides. So it's very important if you subtract S from the left, the L, make it L minus S, we got to take that S plus 100 minus S to keep it the same value, if that makes sense. All right, so now let's just bring our other equation over, the S plus L equals 430. And all we have to do now is just add the equations together. So let's add the numbers because that's easy, right? If we add 430 plus 100, that's 530, right? So we got 530 on one side. Now let's add the other side. So all those variables we're going to add, and you'll see something interesting that's going to happen. You've got L. Let's add the L's. You got a positive L and a positive L. So L plus L is 2L, right? Now, look at this. We've got a negative S plus a positive S. So negative S plus S is zero. So that's nothing. So we're left with 2L equals 530. Now from this, we can simplify L easily, right? Because we just divide both sides by 2. You see that? If we divide L by, 2L by 2, we get L. And if we divide 530 by 2, we get 265, right? So we know L is equal to 265, right? Okay, now let's figure out how we can get S. All you have to do is go back to the very middle first equation where it says you can use either one of those, but the easiest one to use would be L equals S plus 100. So if we have L, 265 equals S plus 100, all we got to do to get the value of S is subtract that 100 from both sides and you'll have S by itself, right? So if you take S from the right side, uh, I'm sorry, if you take 100 from the right side, it leaves you S. And if you take 100 from 265, it leaves 165. So we know Sergeant Lawson did 265 and Private Snuffy did 165. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Please like and subscribe and we'll do definitely more uh, videos like this, more math word problems, getting you guys uh, set up to do great things with math. Thanks, everybody. And as always, if you always aim towards legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.